All right, where are we at now? We're at some vineyard, Mission Vineyards? Mission, Mission Hill. Hill. Mission Hill. Largest. One of the largest vineyards in Kelowna or Canada? Kelowna. Wow. Swing over to, to Derek here. He's having a little snack. It's probably filled with high fructose corn syrup and GMOs. GMO. Artificial flavors and colors. <laughs> All nothing but the best. The Look at the scenery behind you though. We're gonna have to tour this place. I'm gonna walk right in here. Just a little bit. Like the big deal we are. It's a little cloudy for getting too much behind the mountains there, but you can kind of use your imagination. There's dozens of wineries here, probably a half a dozen big ones, and there'll be lots of smaller. There's yeah. probably literally 40, 50 wineries at least. I don't know for sure, but there's probably more than that, to be honest. This so, this was a massive area. This is wine so, producing country. Did you, what did you think about Canada? Did you think there'd be wine? No. <laughs> did you no, not at all. Wineries? Uh, but I think Canada, I don't think. You think cold Eskimo? Well, Igloos, I mean, that's the point where, I, yeah, you guys live in Eskimo. We don't grow our own food here. Yeah, you got the toque on because you need it. You know, you're from Minnesota. <laughs> this is called the toque. Not that warm. It's not tropical right? it's in Minnesota. There's going to be a test after this. Yeah, one. we have a, a final exam before I head home. Oh, there's the bell. Oh, properly that's it. And that's the end of our segment. Recess. <laughs> All right, we're downtown now. Heading over to some type of lunch place. I'm not sure the name of it, though. What's the name of it? Cactus Club. I'm not sure that is. That looks like an apartment complex too. Mm -hmm. Place, Derek? Canyon Falls Park. Now we're gonna check out this hike here. What am I spilling? Salmon or salmon? Derek. Salmon or salmon, as Canadians call it. There's a salmon run about six to eight weeks ago, approximately. And as you know, salmon make creates those heroic feats where they swim upstream, yeah, to fertilize mm -hmm. eggs or whatever it is that they do, uh, which requires a lot of stamina, a lot of endurance. Anyway, with salmon, you'll see a little pinkish hue or red hue to them, depending on the salmon as well, mm -hmm. what kind it is. And um, the reason they have that is from an algae that they use called astaxanthin. And astaxanthin is now actually a nutrient that many humans can take. And they say that that's what helps, they feel that's what helps fuel that super heroic feat that salmon have of swimming so many miles upstream as they do to fertilize eggs. So if you're interested in something that's gives you endurance, stamina, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, good for after post-workouts, kill inflammation, astaxanthin what you want. I never knew that. I knew about the salmon. <laughs> There's Scott. Good for so, sushi. Scott, yes. <laughs> on this hike, did you think you'd learn something about uh, salmon that you did not know? I didn't. 
But that's why we have Derek here, I guess, to kind yeah. of break it down for us. All us Canadians know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, I already knew that. Yeah. yeah. But the Americans don't know. No, you don't. You don't know.